Yo, what's up, YouTube? Red Belly back here. We're gonna talk about some video games that I like in particular, Borderlands, and what does it mean to me, and why it means what it means to me. Well, I started playing Borderlands One. I'm gonna say it was probably 2010, maybe early 2011. Well. Definitely early 2011. I was in a little bit of a dark place. I was getting out of a nasty breakup. Um, going for, you know, a nasty divorce. Um, whatnot. Um, and one of my closest, dearest friends I consider, well, he's, he is a friend, but I consider him more of a brother and family to me than anything. Not to mention names, but, you know. But he played this game. It was called Borderlands. He introduced it to me. But I didn't realize it was a, the same game from, I want to say 2008, maybe 2009, that I had another friend that, well, he played it, but I tried it, and I don't know if I, if at the time if I was feeling it or not, but... So, long story short, I was going for a nasty divorce in 2010, and I was going for, you know, a little rough patch, um, 2011, early 2011 was really rough, really rough for me, because that's when everything got finalized and whatnot, and I knew it was over, over, you know, and I cried for, oh my god, believe it or not, for like a month almost a month straight um so borderlands one my friend well i should say my bro from another mother um got me into playing borderlands one it took me at a really dark place and that's where i started playing borderlands and then well obviously you guys know and I think it was 2012, maybe 2013, I'm not 100% sure, but Borderlands 2 came out, and I absolutely loved it. And then, what, two years later, the pre-sequel came out, and, you know, I know a lot of people hate it, didn't like it, but I loved it. I loved it because it was a Borderlands game, you know. Yes, it had its flaws, and it had its, but it also had its perks of playing it, you know. And then, oh my God, Borderlands Three! I freaking love. I gotta get, I gotta get my older friend that was into the Borderlands series. He kind of fell out a little bit. I gotta get him to play Borderlands Three. I really think he's gonna love the mechanics um, of the game, and there's so much more to do on it. You know, so I'm really giving a, you know a game game review on it, but also telling um, how it took me out of a dark place and Borderlands will always have a, you know, special place in my heart, you know, because, you know, there was a moment I honestly thought about, you know, committing suicide. I really honestly, um, thought about it, you know, and I remember the, out the ramifications, how it would affect my family, how it would, you know, and not from a, you know, religious standpoint, but how my family would, I don't want to know how they would handle it or deal with it because I didn't want that burden on them. So I decided, you know, for, um, trying this game out could have been good. And it was the greatest decision I had ever made in my life. Um, and then, um, Shortly after that, met a lady. I'm not gonna mention names. We had a, um, a kid together. Um, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it, but you know, it is what it is. And then I'm currently married again, and my current wife. We have a 17 month, maybe going on 18 months. A beautiful son, you know. Two kids, one daughter is about to be 13, maybe 14. I got to double check on that. But, you know, it's been, you know, 
hit or miss when I'm able to see her, but, you know, thank God I'm able to see my son as much as I want, you know, in Jesus', um, Jesus name, amen to that, you know. But, you know, all I'm saying is Borderlands has a very, very special spot in my heart. I love the game series. Um, yeah, the pre-sequel had its flaws. Borderlands 2 was probably one of the best versions of Borderlands that I had played and t up until Borderlands 3. Oh my god, I freaking love it. It's an awesome game. This is a game review on Borderlands, the series itself. So, people that have not played this game need to go and play this game. Because Borderlands is awesome. Peace out, YouTube.